President Trump yesterday promised America he will fight to protect us in an address to the states rocked by destruction and riots and looting. Here's the reaction. Fox News contributor and Fox Nation host Lawrence Jones. Lawrence, good morning to you. The president said, you know, if mayors and governors don't stop the violence, he will send in the troops. What do you think of that message? Well, I, th I think there's a balance of it. I think the president should sit in uh, uh, back up for the states that won't do their job to protect their citizens. And I think there is nothing wrong with the president being tough because, as you see, the whole country sees anarchy. But the balance sides of this is, with that toughness, he has to show his heart as well. And the president mentioned, he said, you know what, I stand with the peaceful protesters. Well, there has to be some symbolic measure as well to show those people, uh, people uh, that he really does stand with them. And what do you mean? So the president talks about mm -hmm. law and order, which we all agree there has to be order. We can't allow people to take over the streets. But with that law and order, you have to hold the people that do unjust actions, who strip away people's liberty accountable as well. And so, you know, I don't know the logistics of this because he is the president of the United yeah. States and Secret Service would have to uh, deal with this. But he has to go with some visual message to the protesters because they need the president as well. And I'm not talking about the anarchists and the rioters, but the majority of people that are standing saying enough is enough, they need the mm -hmm. president too. Sure. Lawrence, let me ask you, why don't you think more governors and mayors have asked for help from the National Guard or whatever? I think it's political. I don't think they know what they're doing. I think that part of it is that uh, they, they want to stand with the protesters, but they don't know how to get control of the rioters. Uh, so the, it's a lack of leadership right now because, again, I've been seeing messages following this uh, where they're organizing, putting bricks everywhere. It's pretty easy to shut it down, but, again, it takes actual leadership. Look, before this protest and, and the rioting start, these cities have been lost control of the city. You have poverty, crime, all type of stuff happening. There is a failure of, of leadership in general in these cities. So uh, this is just a repeated behavior for them. Now they haven't gotten control of the looting and the crime. So again, the president can assist them, but at the end of the day, see, this is a local level problem. We need a national message of unity and, and, and law and order, but again, it's up to these governors, it's incumbent of them and the local leadership to get this in order. Absolutely. And you've got to figure there are a number of people in different states and different communities going, why isn't my governor asking for help or why isn't my mayor helping, asking for help as well? So let's see what happens going forward. Lawrence Jones, we thank you very much yeah. for your point of view on this Tuesday morning. Thanks, brother.